Hey guys, how's it going? I am back in the VM today. Uh, today I want to do what should truly be a quick video. Just setting up uh, YNUM mode inside of our Emacs. Go ahead and log in. Start X, and then I'll fire up Emacs. So let me first, after I open Emacs, uh, I'll show you what the problem YNUM is trying to solve is. So let's say you have a bunch of splits open, right? Uh, let's say I want to go from this one to this one over here. So in the Emacs bindings, I need to hit, let me start screen key as well. I need to hit Control X, O, Control X, O. And then if I want to go to the other one, you know, I can, all I can do is like loop through these. I think you can do um, some way you can go backwards, but anyway, it gets annoying and it gets worse and worse uh, the more things you have open, right? So what YNUM is going to handle for us uh, is exactly that problem. Let's go ahead and find our, okay, screen key is going to cause me trouble here. <sighs> Sorry, screen key. I'm going to have to fix that at some point. All right. So, uh, ah, yes. The other thing I want to change today is I'm going to add to our config file a setting for the, um, I'm going to add a setting for the font size. So the other thing I want to do, uh, because I got a very reasonable request uh, in the comments, I was really worried about this and I forgot to do it before. So we can, just like we set face attribute before for our region, we can also set face attribute on the default face nil. Um, I always have to check the docs for this. Family height is what we want. Uh, and I played around with it yesterday a little bit, and I think height of 140 is going to work for us. Okay. Hopefully that is much more visible. If it's not, please leave a comment. Uh, just tell me. I'll make it a little bigger still. So there. Now that the font size is handled, we're going to go and install YNUM mode. So I will fire up Firefox real quick um, and just show you the YNUM documentation. So as usual with our packages, the main thing we're going to do is use package YNUM, ensure T, and then we'll start configuring it at some point. So let's see. Installation. So yeah, so the default bindings for this, uh, it comes with some prefix binding, um, which I don't like. As you may have seen in my Go live coding videos, I like to bind these to, yeah, directly to meta zero. Now, I've actually never had much success uh, copying and pasting this section here. Um, but let's give it one more try. You can take out require, and then if you hit uh, control meta Q, it will re-indent your S expression. That's just handy thing to know. So let's give this a shot. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete these, and maybe we, we should probably get tree max while we're at it, uh, because I usually bind this to um, Wynum. Or tree max select window, yeah. Let's try tree max select window. So for those of you guys who don't know, uh, tree max is a package uh, that gives you like a tree view of your files on the left hand side. So we'll go ahead and set that up as well. Let me see if I have any other configuration. Okay, great. So I'll do this one first. <coughs> I may need to refresh packages again. Okay, I think we should be finished with Firefox. I also, I think I figured out what was going wrong with the VM the last couple times I've been in here. Um, so I had done a system update. I think I may have even had a kernel update on my physical machine. And I think that's what was causing trouble. Alright, so yeah, so TreeMax is pretty big. 
Maybe I should have made a separate video for that. But uh, we're off now. So we're going to get Tremax. We're going to get Wynum. And then once both of these are installed, that's basically my uh, my whole Emacs setup. And after that, we'll be totally ready to get into the language specific config. Okay, so let's go and let's see is Wynum running? Yeah, so I don't know why this doesn't work, but yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so anyway, what I usually have to do for this uh, is I actually usually do a global set key. Yes. Okay, so instead of actually doing all these defined key maps, uh, I usually just call it global set key. So I would just do global set key, keyboard, we got meta zero, yeah, and so this is basically exactly what I have in my config, let's try that, yeah, so now you can see we can jump between them with meta one, two, meta one, two, and that's great, like you can keep going, I basically never have, sometimes I have four uh, splits, so you can see one, two, three, four, three, two, one, so I really love line up. Now the other thing we installed is called TreeMax, so let's hit Meta Zero to open TreeMax. And let's go ahead, we need to choose a project group. What do we have inside of configs? Yeah, let's do configs. So now you can see we've got this nice tree view on the left hand side. Uh, we can use our mouse, or we can go up and down, expand things with tab. Great, we've got TreeMax, we've got YNUM mode. Uh, let's see. I do like to be able to quit Tremax with with Q. So let's see. I'm trying to check my configs for that. Tremax. Okay, we may need some. We may need to set up some evil Tremax integration. Um, let's see. Yeah, okay, so we also need, uh, Tremax. Yeah, so if you do use U evil mode, you probably also are going to want to use package Tremax. Let's grab that. I think we actually have to kill this to reset it. Okay, excellent. So now we have some tree, Emacs tree integration. All right, now we're truly ready to move on to the language specific configuration. Um, but I'll save that for another video. As one little bonus, uh, we do need to actually edit our Xinit RC. As you can see, uh, if you've watched the DWM blocks video, we did set up DWM blocks, but it didn't start on init. So we need to edit this to actually call EWM blocks uh, before we start DWM. So that should now start that when we call start X. So I can give that a try really quick. And then, all right, fantastic. We are all set up. Next video, I'll be covering LSP mode, company mode, and probably my Go setup. So I'll see you guys then. Thanks.